Well, hello everyone. This is Bama Dick Tab, and I actually went out and did a little more hunting today, and actually had some decent success. Uh, not quite like I had yesterday, but hey, you know, uh, it's all good. But I just wanted to show you what I've got now, and I got several wheat pennies. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six wheat pennies, and a Canadian penny. This one is actually a 1946 wheat penny, and I also got, believe it or not, another. 1916, this is the second 1916. Hopefully you can see the date on it, but I got it right there in 1916. I've actually got a high-powered magnifying glass that I looked at it through. So I'm hoping that uh, you can uh, see the date on this. So anyway, just that light down. Hopefully you can see the 1916 down there on it. Anyway, this is a 1945, that's pretty plain, plain and clear, 1936, that 36 is pretty awesome, it's uh, distinct, 1944, millions of those, 1946, lots of those, and then we've got a 1964, well, let me turn around so you can see the date, 1964 Canadian dime, the Canadian, I mean Canadian uh, penny, I'm sorry, uh, so we got these Canadian penny one cent piece and second Canadian penny I found this year. Don't find them too often, not way down here, but anyway, that's what I've got. Also got a few other things. I've got 11 cents and, and uh, pennies. I've got a dime and a quarter. That's my clad. So I got, uh, I don't know, 25, 35, 45, 52 cents in uh, clad. And here's something right here. I don't know what it is. It does have some writing here. It looks like it's got a number four four. I want to say four four eight two dash oh five six and some little emblem there. If anybody knows what this little thing is, let me know. It's kind of odd. I'll flip it over and show you the other side. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. I don't know if it's a part of something or what the deal is, but it's kind of strange looking apparatus uh, and then uh, I was going to clean this up because I don't know what it is but it's got some kind of design on it uh, and then some words so anyway actually it may be upside down let me turn it this way looks like it's Esther AUT so anyway uh, and then, of course, I've got a head stamp there. I haven't cleaned it up to know what it is. I don't think it's probably that old. Some disc that came up like a quarter, and as soon as I pulled that out and rubbed it a little bit right there, I thought, oh, I've got a piece of silver, but come to find out it's a piece of blind aluminum. Anyway, uh, this is a bone. I dug up a bone. Well, I didn't detect it with my metal detector, but it's an unusual find. It is a bone. I figure a dog buried it. Anyway. I just hope it's not human. That would be creepy. Uh, I got a bullet, a chunk of lead right there that came off of a, a nail, and a chunk of lead right there that looks like it might have been a 22 bullet or something. And then I got one of these like gear rings. I don't know exactly what it's for, some kind of spacer or gear. And so anyway, uh, now that's pretty much well everything except one. Believe it or not, I managed to hit silver number 30 five for the season. I hit four yesterday, or three yesterday, put me up to 34, so here is the 1945 Mercury Dime. It is a plain Mercury Dime, and there actually are no mint marks on it, but it's in pretty decent shape for Merc, so, you know, coming out of the ground and all, so. Anyway, 1944 I got down there, but it's actually, as you can tell, a uh, 1945, so I actually wrote down the wrong thing. 1945 Mercury Dime. So anyway, folks, that's silver number 35. I've only got six or uh, 15 more pieces of silver before the end's out to hit to hit number 50. My goal at the first of the year was 100, but I haven't got to hunt like I wanted to as much. So, but anyway, this is it. This is all of my finds. Uh, mostly junk here and clad and then of course my wheat pennies and uh, anyway uh, happy hunting everyone hope you enjoyed the video and god bless